Hello everybody, good afternoon from the beautiful Stockholm. With this wonderful backdrop, we are going to share a few minutes with one of the past artists of the Eurovision Song Contest. She's come to visit the Eurovision Song Contest 2016. The beauty from Portugal, Zuzi. Hello everyone. Why aren't you here? Be here. This is the place to be. I'm here. Oh, you're here. <laughs> I know, you're always here. And we are all here with you, so that's all you need. Come on. <laughs> true, true, true. Okay, I know you're smelling. Wonderful. So, Susie, how does it feel to be back in this Eurovision bubble? <laughs> oh, it, it's an honor, a pleasure. Um, it's just amazing overall. Uh, I'm really grateful to be here because unfortunately this year Portugal it's not represented in the contest in 2016 this year and in a way and indirectly I think by being here I brought a little bit of the Portuguese flavor <laughs> and Portugal indirectly is uh, represented here so I'm really grateful uh, for OG International and Sweden to invite me to sing at the Arab Club last night and uh, and also we we blogs and all the OG Denmark and etc to be here so I'm really grateful I'm really grateful because I always have a lot of fun and I I'm always very uh, pleased to sing for the Eurovision followers, which I consider them my family, and that is very important for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, actually, I asked them uh, how it used to be back in the Eurovision bubble, but I guess that you practically never left because you've been doing a lot of uh, acts in the different mm -hmm. uh, Eurovision-related uh, yes. events. Yes, uh, it's this is um, what I tell to my colleagues. Um, when you participate in Eurovision, it doesn't mean that. Uh, you know, you, you were at the contest and it's the end. It's never the end, it's just the beginning. It's, um, uh, try to see as a, a window shop, you know? You're showing um, yourself as an artist to the world because it's uh, 158 million of viewers. So it's just a stepping stone for something more, for you to show your work, to continue to, to, to do what you love to do. But it all depends on you. Mm -hmm. If you really want to do it, just don't think that because you participate in your revision that, okay, I did my job, that's done. No, you can gain so much from it. And I gain this. I gain love. I gain the opportunity to do what I love, which is singing. I, g I gain uh, the possibility of traveling, you know, around the world, not only Europe, incredibly, because of the visualizations of my video clip in YouTube. Um, it gave me the opportunity to go to Brazil, Qatar, um, Jordan, and so incredible countries that I would never thought that I would go, for example, Qatar or Jordan. And, uh, and I just gained, I, I didn't lose anything, even if I didn't go to the final, I just consider a positive experience and I wasn't upset at all, which was really um, interesting for my colleagues, for me not to be sad because mm -hmm. I already knew that I, I wasn't going to the final before I sang on the semi-final and uh, I just wanted to, to give my, my best and I wanted to please the, the followers, the fans, the Eurovision fans, that's why I had I was one of the fan favorites for the televoting and for the, the fans. And because of that, I'm here until today. And after two years, they still mm -hmm. play my the song. In a Pre club. Precisely. I mean, you were one of the favorites of the fans, but you are still one favorite of the fan. <laughs> and uh, you. you being here is proof of that. Yes, correctly, correctly. And, I'm, and they can feel it. Like I said on stage yesterday, uh, you can feel it. You, what I feel is genuine. It's not you know, fabric fabricated Cated. and uh, so. And you've been traveling a lot, as you said. Yes. I've been uh, following you a little bit. Yeah, for we the major meetings, OGE meetings and everything, yeah. Of all these trips, of all these ads, uh, all these events you have participated in, which one is your highlight? What's the experience that has um, marked you the most? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, you know, don't think that it's, um, uh, I'm being nice mm -hmm. and polite to say that Every one of them was special, but it was true. <laughs> Every one of them is special because it's different public. They react differently 
and I gain different emotions and different things happen because in each uh, I tried uh, at each uh, meeting and at each concert um, uh, take different songs at least two to th different th songs so I always sang a song from the country that I was gonna visit and I was gonna play um, but I can say that without counting with Amsterdam mm -hmm. and London Café de Paris mm -hmm. I think the other one was Berlin. I think the um, the first one was Berlin because I was still a little bit sensitive and and it was very recent in terms of the when I finished the um, the revision contest and uh, it was really special because I thought oh they forgot about me it's mm -hmm. been like you know two months or something like that at all at all it was crazy we were sweating <laughs> everyone was on stage it was just, it was, it was the moment that I felt, okay, I've got to do this. I've got to continue. So, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, apart from all these ads, all these events you have participated in, what else have you been doing? How have you uh, occupied mm -hmm. your time? So, in terms of uh, the music, um, I did a lot of corporate events, which I love, mm -hmm. because each event, I create a persona, so imagine I go to the launch of a product and I do the, the singer, I'm the, the invited singer, and they want, you know, music from the 80s. And then the other, they want more opera style, because I can sing several genres of, uh, of songs which people don't know. I sing a jazz, I sing so I sing a, even opera. So um, I can do that. I was writing, I am writing. Uh, in the beginning I had people doing some uh, music uh, for me, composing some songs, but I decided to do it by myself, so I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. And in January I moved to UK. <laughs> what are you going to be doing there? <laughs> to be closer to the music industry, where everything is very strong in Europe, as everyone knows, is UK, Sweden, Holland, and then of course states and <laughs> mm -hmm. that in Europe. So I want it to be where everything happens. So I get more inspired. Mm -hmm. And I also have my corporate side of it, mm -hmm. where I study in university. So I'm a project manager for a company okay. in UK too. Well, you've been from Portugal, adapting to the London climate is going to be hard, but well, I'm from Spain and I adapted to Brussels where I live now, so... Oh, but you know, you know me, you understand, you understand. Yes, I do. You understand. <laughs> I, 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 try, I try to adapt and I try to see the bright side of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I say when it's raining. I say no, it's not raining. It's psychological. I'm imagining that it's raining. No, it's not dark. No. And then I go and s and see the beaches in Portugal. You know. And I see my friends on the beach. And I want to cut my wrists. <laughs> I'm like, this is not happening. I'm gonna have to start pulling that trick for when it rains in Brussels. Yeah. So. And you look at the pictures on Facebook of your friends. I already do that. In Spain. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Speaking of Portugal, Portugal yeah. will do this year, yeah. so, but they announced that they will be coming back next yes, year. Yes, correct. How do correct. you feel about all this, uh, all this story? Well, I will not make a comment about Portugal not entering this year, because if they justify it as lack of funds, lack of money, um, we have to accept it, you know, even if we know that everything comes for uh, a prediction, uh, so they knew it in 2015 that they would have this expense, so they could have make a planification, a plan, so that they have the money available for us to participate this year. But if from this comes, you know, a very good positive result like more investments in the promotion and marketing of their song of 2017, uh, support more of the artist, uh, do um, a marketing and a promotion strategy. Um, I hope it will be a good thing, hopefully. If mm. they utilize the, the right tools and the right money and the right support, they we can actually have a good result, hopefully. Wise words. And uh, when Portugal comes back, mm -hmm. Are you thinking of representing Portugal again? I wouldn't mind, like I said to the interview in Berlin. I will never forget it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind um, 
representing Portugal, but at this point, I would do it as an internal invitation. I don't know if I would do the contest. Festival da Canção. Festival da Canção. No, I, I would do the Festival da Canção. Imagine you can do, for example, do a no. You know, you have an. You invite eternally an uh, an artist, and but then the artist go to the TV and sings several songs from several composers, mm. and and then you know the most voted one, the most voted song, then the artist will take that song. I would do it that way. We'll be on the lookout, looking forward to Oh, I can that. go for Spain, I can go for <laughs> England. I can go for that was Ireland. my next question. Uh, would you <laughs> consider another country? So I see that the answer is yes, and please yes. go for Spain. Yes. I'm Spanish, so I want to see you. <laughs> Give me a balada, like Cadete Conmigo, or yeah. something like that. For me, everything will <laughs> Come on. And I know that, and you know that too. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's your impression of the present edition? How do you like the Eurovision Song Contest 2016? What do you have seen on TV and what do mm -hmm. you have seen here on site? Yeah. I think this year is really funny because there is a lot of good songs. So there is not like a focus in two or three countries. There is a little bit of, you know, favorites mm -hmm. in several countries. So it's like very open, I guess. Yes. It's my impression, sorry. And from what I've seen. So it's going to be very interesting, the final. It's going to be very interesting. Keep up. And that being said, who is your favorite? Oh, I'm not going to say it. Come on. <laughs> Portugal. Portugal. <laughs> of course. Of course, yeah. What else? What else would be? <laughs> well, uh, you know that the slogan of the contest this year is uh, come together. Come together now. Come together now. The rest of the song. I don't know, but it was a pleasure to hear those words from you already. So I got enough for today and for the rest of the week. No matter who wins. No matter who wins. What matters is participating, representing your country, showing your work, and have fun. Because you know what? Everyone is talking about different countries and competition. There is no competition between the colleagues. Because it's out of our hands about who's going to win. So we just do our best and try to, the fans to like our work. So we can only work towards the followers, your vision followers, the jury. We don't have any, any control or input or nothing. So Mel as well, do your best. To my colleagues, have a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. This is a unique experience. Don't avoid Eurovision or talking about Eurovision in the future because it was part of your life part of your history and you just gain a lot out of it if you just be yourself and, and don't avoid the fans. Smart, wise and beautiful. What else can we what else can we ask for? Euro millions <laughs> <laughs> That I will never get. I never get anything. Yeah, I just... Well if I don't play I don't gain anything. Duh. You get the love of the Euro fans. Here which I is go. Uh, yeah like yesterday we did the train. Uh -huh. like train. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, a train, a conga, I don't know how they call yeah. them. How they call I don't know, yeah. Well, who cares? Who cares? Anyway, any ideas for the slogan next year? Come Together was the slogan this year, but for the Eurovision Song Contest 2017, what's the slogan? What's your idea for a slogan? People United, Colors of Benetton. <laughs> 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 okay, we will ask Mr. You know last about that. <laughs> <laughs> or I want to be your... Okay. The, 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 geez, I cannot control myself. Ten minutes I was very nice. Yeah, but that's because I'm next to you. I was very nice. <laughs> and yeah. now I'm becoming... I, have, I can't. I have this effect on people. You have? Yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Shall we go on? Shall we stop here? What are you going at? <laughs> Michael, Michael from OJE Sweden, mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm. taking care of me. Good. Thank you for that. For <laughs> well, okay, I think that we are not going to retain you anymore. Any questions from the audience? Any questions? Just come, come to us and because of the microphone. Yeah, I a little bit more because there no, are the questions. Thing, come on, come no, on. The thing is, I speak so much that they don't have questions. <laughs> I have, a, I have a question. Oh my god, are you, I'm scared. Are you, are you going to join the Euro Club tonight? 
<laughs> Why not? Euro Club is the place to be every night for the week of Eurovision. It's where the party happens, where you can see your favorite artists, where you can hear your favorite songs. So it's the place to be and meet new people. Lovely. Thank you very much, Susie. Thank you're you very welcome. much. Yes. You do. Come on, of course. Susie, I, I know last night at the Wee Wee Chat. Oh my God. You yes. sang <laughs> Conquistador for the for Portugal in 1989. Yes. Is that your favorite Portuguese song, or do you have a, a selection of favorite Portuguese songs from history? From the Festival de Canção history, yeah. um, I have one because it influ influenced me to actually have the thought of representing my country, which was uh, Dulce Ponte, Lusitana Paixão. And then I have another one which is very good, which is Senhora do Mar in 2012. And then I have one, but I don't remember the year. There was a, a, a lady playing on the piano, 84. I think it was 84. I think so, and but the music was amazing. I really loved it, and I still love it today. And Lucia Muniz actually uh, did a cover of it on my final, on Festival de Canção 2014. And oh, so wow. if you want to check it out, she did a, a very nice cover on Piano 2. So that's one of my favorite too. But you know what? Uh, the thing is, it was really famous on the 60s, 70s, 80s, until 94, Festival de Canção in Portugal. From that time now, it's been decreasing, but um, but of course I have like songs that will stay in my heart, like Conquistador, mm -hmm. like uh, Bem Bom, yeah. like uh, Chamar a Música, a Música. No, I remember I was yeah. watching. And I and I also the one that when the guy you know it in a Annabella. You know that she's my friend and, and we were on the same high school. No. Oh, really? no. We were the two singers. I started singing in Lisbon with her because mm -hmm. we were in a child's group. Yeah. And I was seven. You don't know a lot of things I could tell you, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to pull up all this. So this would be <laughs> ours. <laughs> okay. I would love to. Was that Silencio Tanta Gente? Maria Guino? <gasps> yeah! You're I have the sources. That's why you have Google there. <laughs> Precisely. <It's> smart. <laughs> Not as much as you as I see. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> else? Oh guys. my god, I've got to control myself. I've got to behave. Yep. You guys have time to. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're behaving. Okay. So, uh, being here in Stockholm, what do you think about our capital? Oh, it's beautiful. I'm always complaining that I don't have time to actually visit uh, Stockholm properly because I've been very, uh, you know, busy uh, doing what I love, I can say that. But I really am going to take the time to go around and visit the city. I just, you know, by walking a little bit and driving around, I the first thing that I said, I love cities that has the water, the water element. And it has islands, little, you know, yeah. islands and bridges, and I love that. Yeah. I love that. And the green, the architecture, and the people, they were handsome, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> you could say that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, um, I'm, I, I have to come back, though. To, to visit properly because um, Copenhagen I visit properly. Of course I didn't go to the final so I had one week. <laughs> oh, <isn't it>? oh, <laughs> and that was a bad decision. Jury <laughs> oh out God. there. <laughs> Jury out there. Yeah. Oh yeah you did you did. Oh, we all did it, don't worry. <laughs> yes. More so, questions. Which is your all time uh, Eurovision favorite song? Mm. That's, that's from the hard. History. From the history. Oh, that's really hard to say, huh? Okay, I'm gonna say one because I sang it last night. 
Ah. Because I, I love, you know, the uptempo song. I like the, the euphoria. I really like oh, euphoria. Okay. But, but I love that. I like, I like the ABBA. I like Celine Dion. I like, I'm saying the oldies. Uh -huh. I like uh, one of the Elizabeth Anderson songs. I yeah, like... Um, so many. My Conchita! Hi Conchita! <laughs> Rise like a phoenix! Oh, yeah. Okay. It was a moment. It's like, I'm telling you, this is. I have to control myself. Yeah, well, don't worry. Don't control yourself. We like you the way you are. Be spontaneous, be yourself. That's the way you make people enjoy as much as I enjoy this interview. I mean, I don't want, to, I don't want it to end. Okay. No. Go away! You're, you're holding me! Go away! <laughs> uh, hey, hey, dear, you know it's you holding on to me. Come on. <laughs> we have more questions for you. Can you please sing a little bit from the Conquistador song? Oh! En un mundo novo Un sonho de poetas Ir até o fim Cantar novas vitórias Erguer orgulhosas bandeiras Viver aventuras guerreiras Foram mil epopeias Vidas tão cheias Foram oceanos de amor Uau! After five hours of sleep <laughs> and she still has the stamina. <laughs> Wonderful, brilliant, Susie. Okay. Uh, yeah. More here. Five hours is a long time for sleep at Europe. Yeah, you guys sleep. What's gone wrong? Yeah, Where I know. Did you, wrong? <laughs> you didn't get me entertained enough last night. What are you talking about? <laughs> then kidding. I was not there. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Susie, much obrigado. It was wonderful. This is a lovely interview. I'm going to watch it over and over again. And, and laugh, I, uh, yeah. Well, that's for sure, I <laughs> laugh. That's what I'm going to do. I always watch the interviews and I laugh. I laugh. There, there is, of course. Because of my faces. Oh, yeah. Something Why I do I do so I many forget. facial expressions? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <You're gonna see. laughs> Come on, do chaos at two of us. Come on. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You're Come on. Like three times last night. <laughs> <laughs> do it a fourth time. First okay. time today. Em minhas asas eu quero levar-te ao céu E em mil nuvens dar-te tudo o que é meu Eu quero ser o teu cupido da paixão Eu quero ser a dona do teu coração Eu quero ser tua oh, 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 oh. Eu quero ser tua oh, 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 oh. Eu quero ser tua como o sol do seu brilhar Eu quero ser tua como o rio é do seu mar Eu quero ser tua oh, 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 oh. Eu quero ser tua oh, 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 oh. Eu quero ser tua como o mel do teu beijar Eu quero ser tua, eu nasci I'm not gonna do the high yeah, note yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll grab that for you. No. Oh. <laughs> wow, she really, uh, she really likes the job. Hi. Excellent. Well, thank say, you very much. Say bye. We are taking too much tape on. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. We'll see you around. And bye bye. 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 Don't post it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Always what I say. Bye. Well done.